Hi friend, welcome to Math A to Z. In this lecture, our topic of discussion is a very important property of Euler phi function. And the property is for any positive integer n greater equal to 1, summation phi of d where d divide n is equal to n, where the summation is taken for all positive divisor of n. Okay, d is all positive divisor of n. And this property was first noticed by mathematician Gauss. So this property is also called Gauss's theorem of number theory. Okay, so this is Gauss's theorem or Gauss theorem. This is Gauss theorem. Now we go to the proof of the property. At first we let n equal to 1. Then only divisor of 1 is 1. And we know that phi of 1 equal to 1. That is summation phi of d equal to n. This is proved. So if n equal to 1, then the proof is trivial. Now we take n, n greater than 1. Okay? n greater than 1. Then by fundamental theorem of arithmetic, we can write any integer n is of the form p1 to the power alpha 1, p2 to the power alpha 2, to pr to the power alpha. Right? Where p1, p2 to pr are distinct prime divisor of n and alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha are all non-negative integers. Or we can write 0, sorry, simply alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha are all non-negative integers. Then any divisor d, any divisor d of n is of the form d equal to p1 to the power beta 1, p2 to the power beta 2, to pr to the power beta. Obviously, the range of beta 1, beta 2, beta are given by beta i less equal to 0 less equal to beta i less equal to alpha i. For all i equal to 1, 2, 2, r. Right? So, any positive divisor can be written in this form. Now, we consider a product P is equal to 1 plus phi of P1 plus phi of P1 square to phi of P1 to the power alpha 1 into 1 plus phi of P2 to phi of P2 to the power alpha 2 and the last is 1 plus phi of pr to phi of pr to the power alpha r, right? And the general term of the product p can be written as phi of 
p1 to the power beta 1 into phi of p2 to the power beta 2 to phi of pr to the power beta r. And from the multiplicative property of Euler phi function, this can be written as phi of p1 to the power beta 1 into p2 to the power beta 2 to pr to the power beta r. And this is this is the divisor of n, this is d and we can write this is phi of d. Right? So, we can say d if d be any divisor of n then phi of d is equal to phi of d is equal to the value of one and only one term of the product d. Okay? For any divisor d of n there is one and only one value of the product p which is phi of d. Hence we can write summation phi of d where d divided n is equal to the sum of the sum of the term of the product product p okay and this is equal to p because we say p is the product of this and this is obviously equal to this value is equal to p1 to the power alpha 1 and so this is equal to p1 to the power alpha 1 second term is p2 to the power alpha 2 and last term is pr to the power alpha r. and this is equal to n since since if we consider 1 plus phi of p plus phi of p square to phi of p to the power alpha 1 then we get this is equal to p to the power alpha 1 because and if it is p1 it is p1 it is p1 because we know that phi of 1 equal to 1 we can write 1 as phi of 1 phi of p1 is equal to p1 minus 1 phi of p1 square is equal to p1 square minus p1 and similarly if we write the last term phi of p1 to the power alpha 1 this is equal to p1 to the power alpha 1 minus p1 to the power alpha 1 minus 1 and adding all the term we get this term this term cancel this this cancel this this cancel and this this cancel and the last term remains <coughs> so 1 plus phi of p1 to phi of p1 to the power alpha 1 is equal to p1 to the power alpha 1 right so First term is p1 to the power alpha 1, second term is p2 to the power alpha 2 and the last term is pr to the power alpha r and this is n. So this is the complete proof of the property. Now to better understand we consider that a very easy example to explain the property take n equal to 10 right then d equal to 1 2 uh, 5 and 10 and we know that phi of 1 equal to 1 phi of 2 equal to 1 phi of 5 
equal to 5 minus 1 this is 4 and 5 of 10 this is also 4 because 1 3 7 and 9 this 4 term are less than 10 and prime to 10 and now adding we get this is 5 of 1 plus 5 of 2 plus 5 of 5 plus 5 of 10 and this is 4 4 8 9 10 right so we can write d divide 10 phi of d is equal to 10 and this is the property okay so it is very very important property of polar phi function and it is also called gauss's theorem of number theory okay this is the end of the today's class thank you thank you for watching